All right, guys, what's up? So a big thing out there is how do I make my Twitch stream more interesting to my viewers? So unlike YouTube, I think on Twitch, it's not enough to just have your game in the background. So I could just be sitting here playing CSGO right now, just commenting over it. But I think that doesn't really work as well on Twitch as it would on YouTube. Because on Twitch, you're not just playing a game, you're building yourself as a brand. You are not just a commentator of it, but you're, you are the entertainment unless you are a completely gameplay specific stream, but I think then you still want to do something with your stream. So, to start off with, I think something that a stream needs is some aesthetics. So, like I said, just a gameplay is fine, but I personally think a stream looks nicer when you have something like an overlay. So, an overlay you can obviously do in Photoshop, you can do it in many different things. I mean, here's an overlay for the Twitch channel I demonize, who plays a lot of Albion Online, very interesting stream, and I made this overlay for him just mainly because I like making overlays, but this fits in very well with the game in different ways. It covers up vital things, so if, if you're playing a game, for example, I'm going to take Albion as an example here, people can just jump you, PvP, and kill you depending on what zone you're in. Now, just by the gameplay itself, it is very, very difficult to see what zone you're in, but in the game, normally, underneath here, you would be able to see the name of the zone. So obviously, the, the overlay here not only has an aesthetic purpose but it actually has a practical purpose as well of making sure that you as the streamer won't be getting harassed by viewers. So to say. I'm not saying all viewers are out to do that but obviously there'll always be a few that will literally just try and mess up your stream by doing things such as just over and over and over and killing you. But um, that's why I think overlays serve a purpose. Apart from overlays, your Twitch channel, same as most YouTube channels, should be treated as a brand. In the sense, if you want to have consistent branding, a nice consistent design throughout your channel that possibly links in with your overlay. So I'm going to use my own here as an example. I'm not saying it's the best, but uh, it's just a very quick, simple idea I had. Okay, no idea what that was. But um, so we have D4N, we have Dan, which my channel is Vital Dan, but obviously I think in a square logo this size just fits better. And of course, when you're offline, you'll still want a nice screen. Because even when you're offline and someone comes across your channel, you want to entice them to still follow you so they give you a chance next time you're live and obviously it gains you an extra follower, another person watching and more people to have in your audience. So now we've covered the aesthetic side, let's have a look what it would look like. So this is OBS, I'm going to be using OBS to cover things in here. So this is just our game and this is our game with the overlay. So obviously we can have a face come in there. It's not actually connected up right now, so I can't show you that, but um, just for the purposes of this, I've moved a chat in there. So the reason I think a chat on your actual stream is nice along with the chat on the side, because you're thinking, well, why would I want to have the chat on there when I already have it on the side anyway? The reason is that it might just be personal to me, but I like watching a lot of streams full screen on my other screen or just on my main screen, for example. So especially on phones, it's nicer to be able to tilt your phone sideways, watch the stream in full scale. And with the chat still being on there, there might be a little bit of delay on it, but you still get to see what chat is saying, because I think a big part of the Twitch community is actually seeing other people's reaction to whatever is happening right now. So in order to do this, there is a few services out there, but I just personally prefer Twitch alerts because it's nice and easy and simple. You just connect your Twitch account up and then this is what it looks like. So we navigate down to chat box over here and we can choose a variety of styles. Boxed, Twitch chat, looks exactly like the one inside. Clean, it's just a little bit bolder. Old school, pixely, which is nice. Chunky. And you can even, if you know CSS, do your own. But we're just going to have to clean one for now. Customize basically everything, but um, this is what it looks like on here. So let me just navigate to my Twitch chat over here and say hello. There you go, it pops up. So does all this. Um, emotes pop up as well, so... You'll still have all your emotes in chat. So. What else can I do with this lovely thing called Twitch Alerts? Well, we have an alert box, which if you have spent any amount of time on Twitch, you'll have seen channels use, and it's basically this thing. Someone follows you, pops up on your screen, you can have a GIF, image, anywhere in there. Again, it's completely customizable. Same goes with donations. The sound is customizable as well. 
So I've set mine up to not actually show donations because I don't really use them on my channel. But another thing which you can use is the events list. Now you have these things in the corner here and ignore that on the middle but what you will want to be looking at is this corner here. So let's say someone follows. They will be down here. Now it fades out here because it's a test but that won't normally fade out if someone actually follows. So the last four followers will always be displayed in the bottom right hand corner. People like seeing their name on the stream they're watching. I don't know, it makes them feel part of it but I think that's always a nice thing to have there for your viewers. So, talking about things for your viewers, how do you give back to your viewers? I personally think loyalty bots are a great way to handle this and what I think is a really good loyalty bot is Revlo. So you simply go to revlo.co and you link it with your Twitch account and then you will be able to, you'll be asked to name your currency and set a command. Now you don't need to make any commands, you don't need to code, Revlo does all of this for you which is one of the reasons why I think it's a great service and its dashboard is fantastic. So once you have done all that you will get to the reward stream. You can either edit some of the pre-made rewards or you can make a new one. So I'm just going to edit this one to show you what it basically looks like. Things you do is you set how much something costs 200 coins for example, what you need from the viewer, so if I wanted them to play CSGO with me I'd obviously need their Steam ID to add them, so we will need their Steam ID. The command they type in chat to do this and what it does and the title of this, so we hit save. Make sure you deploy Revlobot every time you start streaming, also keep this open in the background while you're streaming because you'll see why in a minute. See down there, he's arrived in my Twitch chat and the uh, commands. So, for example, this updates with however you change it in the settings. So we can see that we actually have a typo there. So let's change that over real quick. So currency. We want vital coins. Actually, let's just have this as coins. That's really simple. So let's say someone types in coins. So our currency is vital coins. Someone types coins in chat. Exclamation mark coins. Revlobot should uh, let us know our amount of coins. It might need a moment to update. But anyway, if we head back over here to commands, you can see vital coins has been changed over to coins. Has it updated yet? Apparently not. But basically, what it'll do, it'll normally pop up with a little message that displays viewer name, you have this and this many of whatever you name your currency. We'll try to get in a minute when we've given the bot a moment to update. Anyways. So back to your rewards, you obviously set a little command here, so let's say the command join game, which is what we have here, let's just copy it over, so exclamation mark join game, it says join my next game and it corrects the user, so obviously join game isn't enough, you need to put in join game and the steam id, let's say my steam id is vital dan, there we go, vital dan has used 200 of his vital coins to redeem join my next game, there's a sound that just came up and you can see this is the reason why you should have to open in the background. So, in the rewards we can see someone has redeemed a reward. Click on it, it gives you the info, what they've done, like what command they've used it on, the Twitch user and the details. Remember how we asked for their details to be their Steam ID? So if I land this is their Steam ID, then you basically add them, you add them to your view game. When you've done all that, when you're happy with it, you click complete and it disappears and this number will also disappear. You obviously just need to give it a second, there we go, it's gone. Let's try a little coin command again coins. There we go, there you go, Vitaland has 648 coins left. But um, how many coins do you give your viewers? Again, you can change this on the currency, right now mine is set to 1 point per minute. So for every minute a viewer is watching, they will be getting 1 coin. So uh, this isn't what I think sets Revelo apart massively from other loyalty bots, because you can obviously have local loyalty bots running as well. But what I really like is the fact you have this dashboard. So it'll be revlo.co slash your Twitch name. And this is what your viewers can see. So they can see how many coins they have. See the leaderboard where they're placed along with other people. I've only been using this for about a day, but we can see that this guy's been watching two hours. I don't know about these two nuts. That's a little bit depressing. But you can see where people are ranked and how much they watch. So you can... <laughs> I don't want to say you should be judging your viewers on that leaderboard, but you can obviously see who watches you the most using this. 
Um, people can also not use chat to redeem, but they can also use this online system to basically redeem. There you go. End of stream, stream shout out. You just need to give the Twitch ID and then it'll come up in the thing. So anyway, back to the dashboard. This is what you'll see. Other things you can do are giveaways. So let's set up a new giveaway here. Name of the giveaway is testing. Let's name this, um, what, what's the nice guess? CSGO Steam gift code. Yeah, there we go. We'll make it cost 15 coins, so people can't just come on the stream simply for the giveaway. They will have to like watch 15 minutes, let's say, so they have to give you a chance. Maybe you're entertaining. They'll stick around even if they lose the giveaway. But um, we'll make it so they get their first ticket free. Why not? And we can allow them to buy up to 10 tickets. This is a little bit unfair, some people might say, but I think it's still completely fair because you're giving those viewers which watch you a lot a higher chance of winning. Because why why shouldn't they? They should, I think, have a little bit of a higher chance as someone who might have just come in just for the giveaway. So someone who's been loyally watching you, they'll have collected a lot of coins. If they choose to, they can spend that amount of coins on whichever how many tickets they want up to the amount of 10 tickets to keep it still halfway fair. So. What do we need from the winner? We will need their email address because we need a way to actually send them this gift code. Done all that, you hit start. There you go, this is what it looks like to you and we can see in chat here we have a giveaway for CSGO Steam gift code has been started. Each ticket costs 15 vital coins, you can buy up to 10 tickets. You can buy a ticket with typing in chat exclamation mark ticket and the amount of tickets. So obviously our first ticket is free. Oh, no, we need to type ticket one. My bad. So, one ticket. There you go. One entrance and one ticket. Let's say... Oh, okay, so we've had a free one, so we want more tickets. We have to pay for these, so I want to buy two more tickets, because I have 30 coins. There we go. We just purchased two more tickets. What does this look like to the viewer? Okay, viewers that don't do it through chat will get to this screen. They can buy their tickets here, the amount. First one will say... It'll be, it'll be yellow for the first one. It'll say uh, your first ticket is free, so they can get one ticket. So they can keep it open on here or just go back to chat, close this, it's not really needed. However, okay, let's say the giveaway is really cause, we've had loads of entries and we want to pick a winner, you simply click draw a winner. So, the winner has been chosen by Lutan, obviously, but it basically it'll just completely randomly choose it. Now underneath here it says he is a follower and he's also a subscriber. I don't know why this is ticked. It, it basically it'll be it'll show if if you if you are a Twitch partner it'll uh, show if they're subscribed or not. If you have a normal stream it'll show if they followed your channel or not. So for example you can make it that the winner has to have um, has to have followed. So obviously this hasn't shown up in Twitch chat yet because this you, you check. Let's say one of the contributions is he's a follower. He's not a follower. Okay, you re-roll. You find a new one. Sorry, no no more. <laughs> Alright, there's no more entrance to win. Um, let's start new. If basically there needs to be more than one, of course. If there's only one entrance, that guy has to win because otherwise, if you redraw, nothing happens. So let's say one ticket. Alright, I'm gonna enter this giveaway real quick. Yes, give me my free entry. There we go. There we go. Entered. Okay, draw a winner. Yes, I'm happy with this winner, and you hit finish giveaway. See, now it will post in Twitch chat. There we go. Congratulations, Val. Then you are the winner of whatever you've named the giveaway. And you can send them a Twitch message right away on the screen with the winner or whatever information you need. But uh, yeah, that's Revelabot. How to do giveaways with it. The rest of Revelabot, such as the settings, they're very, very self explanatory. You can change what the bot says down here, for example, how often, how frequently they send a message. Change your currency name, mods that have access, general settings, there's a lot you can do. But just look into this, look into Revlo, look into Twitch alerts, and I think these are just some great things that make your stream more attractive. So have fun streaming, and these are just some personal tips that I think make a stream nicer to watch just from a viewer's perspective.